Hey guys, we're in day three of our Unlocking the Bible daily devotional time. We're in Genesis chapter three, Trouble in Paradise. I'll give you a few insights and then you can read it for yourself. Let's start with verse one. It says that one day the serpent asked the woman, Satan asked the woman, did God really say you must not eat from any of the trees in the garden? And here's the insight. Temptation is sneaky. The reality is, is note, God didn't say that. Go back to chapter two and see what God actually said. See, Satan is twisting the truth and he still does that today. Let's move on. It says in verse eight, when the cool evening breezes were blowing, the man and his wife heard the Lord walking about the garden. So they hid from the Lord from among the trees. Now, this was after they fell for the temptation and for the lie and they sinned. You can read this for yourself. But here's the insight. Sin sends us into hiding. Go back to chapter two. They were in relationship with each other, with God. Everything was so beautiful and wonderful in paradise. But when sin entered the world, it sends them into hiding. And sin does the same thing to us today. One last insight. Verse 12. The man replied, it was a woman you gave me who gave me the fruit and I ate it. The Lord asked the woman, well, what have you done? And she followed in the footsteps of Adam and said, well, the serpent deceived me. That's why I sinned. That's why I did it. You see the point? Do you see yourself in this? Sin breeds sin. They already sinned once, and now they're blaming someone else, which is also sinful. So this was a sinful response to their original sin, and we all do the same thing. That's why it's so important for us to turn to God and repent. That's what we learn in Genesis 3. It's all about sin. Trouble in paradise. Sin entered the world, and we're going to see in the next you know, 37 days that sin is just a constant theme, not only in the Old Testament and the New Testament, but probably in your life also. Now, we've got all kinds of content in our library to help you to talk about sin and overcoming sin. Do it with a group, do it with a mentor. Go ahead and read Genesis 3. We'll see you tomorrow for the next chapter.